Mr. Percy, sir, you talked yeah. about your background and where yep. you came from. What was your motivation to change, to, to change your mindset? I got tired of watching young people around me die. And uh, when you look at the police, everybody angry and upset at the police, but we gotta hold ourselves accountable. Even, even our household, parents, kids, everything. So I said, I just didn't want to be another statistic. Like I talked about today, about being around good people. It could be good people, whether they're police officers, good people, whether they're in the community, your friends, and, and having good family around you, being able to make the right decisions in churches and laws through education. And so if I didn't change my life, I wouldn't be here with my son today. And so I think that's so important in putting our trust and faith in God. So when you let God lead you, even though you're on the wrong path, you might get detoured like Romeo said. I feel so many times, but that failure helps me to get back up and work even harder. So I, I just think it's about love. Cause when you look at it right now, all the crime and everything that's happened is a lot of self hate. Everybody trying to get some, trying to get some, get to the bag like we talked about. Everybody want money, but there's three type of people in the world. It's poor people, rich people, and wealthy people. And so the uh, poor people, all they talk about is money. The rich people, all they talk about is things. And the wealthy people talk about ideas. And that's what I want those kids to see. Like, I told me one idea from being a billionaire, even though it's temporary success. So, yeah. And one thing I got from what you said is the three things, accountability, yeah. faith, and having that vision, yeah. you know? I think that's really the tools of success. And, and family, so y'all look at it right there. It's, it wasn't just kids out here today, it was family. Mm -hmm. they, they, they parents knew me, the kids knew Romeo. We touching generations and for doing this with Dr. Martin Luther King, you know, in his legacy, having these kids dream because we don't dream. And like Romeo said, we don't have vision. And so, cause all we, all we thinking about is getting some money and we don't even have integrity. We're not, we're not programming or teaching that integrity, keeping your word. Like today, I have a million things I gotta be doing, but I told them that I'm gonna come here with my son today. I had to stop that and come here. It's all about keeping your word and having integrity. So thank you. Yeah, man. Well, so you talk, um, talked about, about people wanting the right now, yeah. but um, talk about how important it is that sometimes you have to go through the struggle to yeah. appreciate. Well, and I think that's what Romeo was able to explain to the kids. My life wasn't easy. I got a brother dead and I got a brother incarcerated, but I decided to break that negative cycle. So people are not going to judge me by my friends, my family, uh, and I know that God is a forgiving God, so when I start realizing that, then I start saying, I need to do right. I need to hold myself accountable. I can't expect my son to be a good man if I'm not gonna be a good man. And, and for the mothers out there, like I told the kids, you know, people make excuses. Oh, well, my daddy wasn't there with me to throw the football with me, or he didn't spend time with me. You know, uh, I didn't have none of that. So as I turned to a man, I said, I'm gonna break those negative cycles. I gotta spend the time with my son, with my kids. And so I, I hope the parents get that. Like, stop trying to be friends, even though we here today, you know, we're not friends, I'm, I'm his dad. No matter how old he get, no matter how old I get, I'm still, you know, when I see my dad, I respect him because he's my dad. And I think that's what we have to show. I think like a lot of parents have kids that are successful and they forget about being a parent. They, you know, even you look at the basketball players and football players, I told the kids, it's 10 million people trying to get 400 jobs. That's why education is so important and we make, these bad decisions in churches and we dying young. When I say, anybody know somebody dead in prison, everybody put their hand up. Because we making the wrong decisions in churches because we're not educating our families. And that's why we're here, you yeah. know? We are living examples of yeah. anything being possible if you believe, if you go put education first, if you put God first and you, you don't have to be a perfect person, but you gotta always try to do what's right and do the right thing. Yeah, and think about it, right? Do the media celebrate that? No. If me and Romeo was getting in trouble, we'd be all we'll over. We'll be the, the most world. famous people in the world <laughs> right think now. Think about it. But, but we decided to do right, make the right decisions in church because I made sure you got his got his education. But pops, that's why we here because yeah. it's not about being the most famous nah. person in the world. It's about doing what's right, yeah. and that's why we continue to come to Arkansas and for these for these kids. Yeah. And so y'all leave as mentors, but as y'all leave, we are still here. So what is the lasting impression or message that you would want to give? I'm gonna tell y'all right continue? now. Stop making excuses and accountability. Mm -hmm. Just think about it. No matter the youngest kid in there is still accountable for itself. 
So if you want to do drugs or you want to go commit crimes, that's on you. But if you see us, we successful. We don't do none of that. So think about it. It's another route. It's another way. So accountability is the most. Because think about it. You have to police yourself now. I didn't, when my parents wasn't home, I had to police myself if I wanted to live and survive. So uh, my nephew here right here now, he changed his life. He, he didn't have to go through the stuff I went through. His dad died at 19. I had to raise him. We need to stop that. So we, we, we're going to change that. We're going to start programming these kids right and stop making excuses. So anybody here right now that's making excuses, that's, that's on you. That's why the violence is still happening. So we got to pull some of these kids to the side and say, look, you do better work in that Burger King or McDonald's than going out there trying to hustle and steal and kill. It's not going to last. Anything, a lick uh, or whatever you want to call it, it don't last. It's temporary, quick, it's over with. Now you're back trying to do it again till you get caught. You're in prison. Your whole life changed. So when the, when the father go to jail, then the whole family fall apart. And I just want to say, what would the stars be without the darkness? You know, we all go through some, but we all got a, a shining light. So just yeah. keep going. If you're going through a hard time, keep going. And like I said, just do what's right. And if you get a second chance, make the best out of it. My life wasn't perfect. So think about it. I was trying to figure it out. And I think parents got to realize when, when I had a kid, I said, you know what? I want to change this. So that's what we're saying about accountability. Stop making excuses. Everybody have 24 hours. Okay. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Right. Good job. Yes,